Tena Kotu Katoa. Hello and welcome. My name is Vikram Kumar, Chief Executive of the Internet Party. On behalf of the party, I welcome you all. Special welcome to all the Internet Party supporters, members. Uh, we are today having our final candidate selection, the preliminary screening in Auckland, so we welcome everyone who's traveled to Auckland for that. Special welcome to the media. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge the Internet Party team. These are people who put in incredibly long hours helping out, working behind the scenes, and making everything tick. Um, I'm going to spend a few minutes to try and set the scene for today's announcement. I know most of you will be impatient to get on with it, but please bear with me for a few minutes. Because what I wanted to talk about was change. The fundamental theme flowing through today's announcement is change. The internet is driving a huge amount of change right across every industry, every type of business. And so far, it hasn't really touched politics, governance, or democracy. And that's what we want to change. And there are two possibilities for change. The first possibility is you can react to change. You can try and adapt, always trying to catch up. The second is you can front foot it, you can take advantage, you can be proactive. And what we've seen in New Zealand so far is a desperate reaction to change that the internet is driving in society. So uh, the Copyright Act was amended, the Three Strikes Act, which made it uh, the account holder guilty, even if the person himself or herself has done absolutely nothing wrong. We had the GCSB bill that was passed last year, which gave our spy agency the right to have a say in the design and in the equipment that are used by internet service providers. Right now, going through Parliament, we have the harmful digital communications bill, which will almost certainly have unintended consequences. And these are examples of lawmaking and politics, which are grappling and adapting to change. But it doesn't have to be that way. We can take charge, and we can take as a country, we can front foot and be proactive about change. And that's essentially what the Internet Party set out to do. But the change that the Internet drives is not the Internet itself. And this is something that I just want to spend a minute for you to consider. There wasn't a fax party. There wasn't a telephone party. Right? And the fact of the Internet Party is a symbol, is a symbolic or a symbol of the internet. It isn't about the internet itself. We're not a technical party. I've had first-hand experience where technologists or techies or geeks design online services and products. It's a disaster. right? You don't go and ask a techie, how are we going to solve, for example, uh, the affordability of first-home first buyers. It just doesn't work. So the internet party isn't about the internet as such, as a tool. It's about what we can do with the internet the opportunities and challenges that we have once in a generation, perhaps once in 100 years. And the changes that we want to drive are social, economic, cultural, environmental, educational. And so the Internet Party is about those things that New Zealanders care about. There's a few people, bless them, who care about the Internet. But the vast majority care about what we do with the Internet to set a digital future and vision for this country. And the people that we need to lead, the, to lead and become members and candidates are not technologists. We don't need the best internet technical people to be in the internet party. We don't need an internet party leader who is going to describe to you the best way of building a smartphone app. We need them to drive the social, economic, and cultural future of New Zealand. 